previously in Cyberpunk 2077. Saburo Arasaka. Dead. No blaze of glory for me. What are you doing? Oh my god. Okay. Please don't let go. Oh crap. You're letting go. Ugh. Heavier than she looks. Do you know what a bullet to the head feels like? Now listen, dog. Let me I show have done you. Exactly what you asked. So let's you and me figure this out. Hey! Don't got a lot of time left, kid. Say so what? <laughs> so I'm still gonna die. On, on the table? Oh! Who you work for, start talking! Fuck! What are you doing, dude? You're me! Fuck. Wish I could stay here. But I gotta do something. Something quick about this death sentence of mine. And now to continue. Oh god, they must have had to have shaved my head to get the bullet out. Oh. Oh, that's not. That's not cool. Oh, I liked my hair. All right. So now what? I should probably clean my window. There, problem. Well, oh, I can still see it. it's on this side of the glass. Uh, my head. No. Radio needs to. Radio needs to turn off. I can't. Why? Why won't it turn off? Ah! Okay. Oh, hey. Those might come in handy. I need to figure out what to do next. I mean... God, what do I have for options? I'm dying. Oh. No, nothing in my stash to collect. Vic says he can't help me. What are my options? I suppose for now I could just go on living. What do I have? Check my email. Okay. Oh, I mean, I still have a few other things I suppose I could do. I guess I just get on with my life. Maybe something will work itself out in time. Get a new message. Rent passed to Oh. We've not received this month's rent payment for your unit. In accordance with tenancy agreement, any subsequent payment delay will result in forced eviction. Oh. That's just terrific. First, I gotta deal with a bullet in my head. Wait. What's this? There's a new option on the net. Pleasures of Night City, I doubt. That's. No. Dummy. Vir virtual what? Huh. I'll have to check that out more later. Okay, I suppose I can start by getting dressed. Um, no, I need, yeah, clo clothing, clothing would be nice. No, I should probably start with, you know, the basics, like pants. Pants would be good. Uh, yeah, I'm in the mood for some jeans. You're in Nobu slacks. Where did I find those? No, oh, well, they're way too fancy for my taste. To hell with it. I'll just go with the classic. Ah, uh, shoes. 
Turquoise composite punk. No, we're just going to put on some combat boots and be done with it. Uh, no. What? Yorinobu's formal shirt. Again, way, way too fancy. Why do I have a bunch of clothing that belong to Yorinobu Arasaka? That just seems odd. You know what, let's just go with my favorite tank top. That never seems to disappoint me. Got some nice jackets in here. Spiked Maelstrom short sleeve. That one looks pretty good. Apparently I've got some body armor. Although body armor won't protect me from a bullet to the head. That doesn't look half bad. But I'm really thinking I'm going to go with this. At least until my hair grows back. And I gotta have something that, you know, offsets it a little bit. I mean, I don't mind the shaved head look. It's not the worst. But... Uh, I could do a whole lot better. And all my guns are different. Why did they change all my weapons? Let's see. I was rocking the full Iconics before, wasn't I? Yeah, yeah I was. I, oh, I mean, this... I do kind of want to try... That's the pistol I clipped from your Nobu. I'm glad to see that my inventory hasn't changed much. Um, I think that's the one I was using before. The red ones. I like the red ones. The red ones are good. Uh, I was using a shotgun. And lastly, my sniper rifle. Hard to believe those are just whites. Don't suppose I can upgrade them. Do I have the means? That's the question. Um... Yes. At least a couple of them. Or or maybe it's just one. Ah, it was just one. Oh, and I see. That's why. Okay. So, I need more... I need more of these. Ah, uh, but if I do that... Hmm... If I do that, then, uh, I won't have enough to upgrade other guns. Okay, so, I guess I need to scrap a few. And considering how many Iconics I already have... I don't feel bad about scrapping every single one of these that is not an Iconic. That should give me a whole lot. A whole, whole lot. Of components. What am I up to now? 184. Oh. Okay, that didn't give me nearly as many as I'd hoped. But, you know, I mean, okay, these, th are these already, these are already tier 1 plus. So let's just upgrade the ones that are not and see if, crap. Well, that was short-lived. I guess I know what I'm going to do then. Right after I get a bite to eat. Do I have anything just laying around the house? I do. Oh, thank goodness. Breakfast. You! Come to Thomas Diner. You! Why, why would I do that? Hmm. Why would I do that? Because I am the one who saved your life. Haven't managed to get my head straight yet. 
Not after everything that happened. Plus, I wouldn't call it exactly that saved. Not anytime soon. And so what? If you intend to leave, you must re-enter the ring. The bell has already told. Thomas Diner, I am waiting. <sighs> all right, all right, I'll come down to the d bloody d mega building. What? Mega building H10 administration informs you that your vehicle is available for collection in the nearby parking garage. We wish you a pleasant day. Oh, that's great. My car, because I totally should be getting behind the wheel after taking a bullet to the head. Bartmus Collective? First will come the great reality check which ushers in the future of the world. I read that one already. Whenever money changes hands, your true self becomes a victim to capitalism. The best weapon against capitalism is uninterrupted meditation. I highly doubt that. Delamain. Mr. Wells. Dear Ms. V, I would like to inform you that Mr. Wells' body has been delivered to his family. Okay. Well, at least that was some good news. God, it's tempting to just not try and call him. You know, maybe that's something I should look into doing, is going to the Coyote. Oh, get off my map. Where is the Coyote? The, the Coyote Bar. Okay, we got get um it's probably gonna be one of those marked with uh food stall vendor maybe? I don't know. Oh there we go. Food drop point no, definitely not there. Now I know where this is. I kinda wanna go visit there eventually. Bar. There's a bar there. Where is the coyote exactly? Like, I started off in the coyote, but that was not my life. I saw flashes of it though. Alright, never mind. I guess I'll just go meet Takamura for now. P pent penthouse. Oh yeah, that super expensive door. Yeah, that ain't happening anytime soon. I mean, maybe it's down... No, I think that's the afterlife. But... A bar is what I'm looking for. Maybe that one? Let's go check out that and see if maybe that is the coyote. And barring that one, we can go up to there. I, I want I want to see I want to go see Mama Wells and see if Jackie was properly laid to rest. Uh, and then I guess I should start making my own funeral arrangements. NCPD, open up! Barry! We know you're in there! We're here to help! Don't got no fucking warrant! Cut the bullshit! Just open up! We came here as colleagues, nothing else. Haven't heard from you in a while. We're worried. Noted. Now leave me alone! Congrats, Mendez. Way to be a prick. Oh, what? So I'm the bad guy? I'm not the one who's holed up playing the attention whore. He lost a friend. Can uh... you blame him? He's not the first or the last. It's called life. I really shouldn't get involved. Someone losing their mind again? Someone in this tower go cuckoo again? This is a private matter, so just move along. Wait, she might know Barry. Uh... I... maybe? Is there anything I can do? Maybe. You know Barry at all? 
No, more or not. Less. Struck up a convo once or twice. He's a friend from the precinct. Left the force not long ago. He broke down after his best friend died. Never mind. We're worried he'll do something stupid. Relax, Patropa. Barry's got nerves of steel. Oh. He's just a I did not want to open my phone. Is. Could you check on him when he's chilled down? Uh, yeah, sure. Sure, why not? Not like we're miles apart. Thanks. Just be patient. Cops falling in rough times can be touchy. I'll see what I can do. Right. I'd love to help, like, right now. Oh, God. I mean, the door is right here. Fine. I'll knock hey, at least once. Everything all right in there? I'm gonna take that as yes. <sighs> Try again later. Yeah. Yeah, later seems good. Later seems very good. Especially considering I have far more important things to do right now. Oh, hey. You're back up and running. I still haven't gotten to those fights yet, man. I I've been a little busy. Getting my brains blown out. Oh, I don't... I'm just gonna take this for some light reading later. I promise to bring it back. Maybe. Hey, B. Hi Haven't there. Seen you in a good one, two, few weeks. <laughs> Has it really been Figured that long? Skip town. Uh, had some trouble. Just trouble, usual stuff. Ah, uh, in need of iron and lead, then I take it. I mean, I wouldn't mind looking. Sure. Let me see what you got. I mean, you might have a few things I want. 6,000, though. I don't... I don't have a lot of money. But... I might have a few things... to sell. Which would be good. What is... Okay. I might actually have to look at that. That, I don't like. Uh... <laughs> Okay, so about the outfit, Yorunobu's clothes. Uh, I I don't see myself ever wearing them, but they are a unique clothing item. So I'm not 100% certain I want to get rid of them. I will get rid of this, though, because I think those are, like, I could buy them again later, and I don't really like them. That I kind of like. I kind of like the sweater. I want to check that one out before I go selling it. All right, and that gives me 10000 I can do better. I have quite a bit of stuff I can just... I can always buy more food. I have a lot of these things I don't... Look, I've got two, three of the same silencer. I don't need those. Parallax. Yeah, okay. We'll just get rid of whatever duplicates I have in here. Quick hacks, I'll leave alone. Junk, I can just sell everything. I don't need it. I don't need any of it. There we go. Now then. What you have that I want... Blueprints. 2,000. Ow. Well, the frags are the only ones I'm ever going to use. Although incendiaries might be kind of fun. Um. Yeah, I just want to buy the blueprints. But I don't think I can buy them all. Not for those prices. So I'll, 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 I, want, I want the green frag grenade, and we'll call that... We'll, we'll call that business well well done. I got a blueprint. Thanks for a lot, Wilson. I really appreciate you, man. Hello, anybody home? Uh, 
No, I I'm gonna. I I've got some business to do now, man. You take care. I'll talk to you later. I hope. Right, elevator's right here. Deer and cart path. What? Dear end cart passenger, we are pleased to inform you that the technical problem with your end cart city pass has been resolved. Full access to all end cart services have been restored. As compensation for this inconvenience, we have credited your end cart account with a promotional discount, allowing you to travel on any end cart line free of charge till the end of the calendar year. Oh, that might actually come in handy. We appreciate your understanding and hope to see you riding with end cart again soon. Thank you for traveling with us, Encart customer. Encart, isn't that like the monorail system? I thought that was just like a fashion icon or something. I didn't know the monorail was real. Oh, what's in the news? Oh no. The exact cause of his death has not been released, but initial reports suggest coronary implant failure. The remainder of Mayor Ryan's term will be fulfilled by his deputy mayor and closest associate, Weldon Holt. Holt has also announced plans to run for mayor in the upcoming election. Today, we all mourn the untimely loss of our mayor and dear friend, the elevator, Lucius Ryan. But when we've dried our tears, we must look to the future. To the future Lucius envisioned for our fair city. I yeah. promise to do everything in my power to ensure his work will continue on. Rest Something peace, tells me there's not a lot of people that are going to be thrilled about that. Former District Attorney Jefferson Perales also offered his condolences. Look, Mayor Ryan and I often did not meet eye to eye on political matters. And we sometimes traded sharp words. But even after our most heated debates, we always shared a handshake of mutual respect. Today, I say farewell to him for the last time. Thank you, Lucius, for everything you've done for our city. Who next will assume Ryan's mantle? We'll find out soon. The first polls following Ryan's death reveal a neck and neck race between Halt and Perales. Now, a word from our sponsors. Thanks, but no thanks. I've reached my destination anyways. So the mayor died. I doubt anybody's going to be really choked up about it. So, uh, are we going to talk about yesterday? It's all in the report. Not getting involved. I'm oh, not getting right. involved. I'm not getting Except involved. You to I have places to be. Places I'd rather not be, but hey, I don't really have many other options um the uh oh my car should be fetch your car that should be like right across the street right yeah um Where is the garage? Up there? Right, right, right. The garage. Okay. Are you... Okay, you're not going to run me over. That's all I care about. Uh, I really probably don't care about my car. But... I mean... It'd be nice to look up on it. Why was it in the... Like, what happened to you? Anyways, I mean, besides my overly horrible driving... Wait, that's not my car? There's m more than one of my car up here? Are you... There you are. Whoa! Beep, beep, motherfucker! <sighs> what the hell happened? Dude! Looks like everyone in this fucking town's out to end you. I can't. Makes me feel like an amateur. A hack. Ugh, shut up. Whoa, I find hey. out why Night City's most courteous has upgraded to hit and runs. Was that a Delamine? I couldn't stand you anymore either. 
I said shut up! Oh, yeah, I really don't need your sass right now, Mr. Silverhand. Message from Delamain. Please accept our sincerest apologies regarding traffic incident number yada yada. Delamain Corporation cordially invites you to its main headquarters in order to assess damages and arrange compensation. Ugh. I mean... <sighs> Let's be real here. I wasn't gonna drive it anyways. But... That's a little more than a scratch. Okay, Johnny's not... Like, I can't even... Ouch! I can't even move it out of the way. Did I leave anything important in the trunk? No, okay. Okay. Well. Uh, report to Delamain HQ. Where is that? Oh my god, that is... I don't... I don't have time for that right now. I've got to go... I, I've got to go see Takamura. Okay, so, got my car back, only to lose my car again. <laughs> like, it's par for the course at this point. Like, seriously. Okay. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Don't mean to be running into anybody. Okay. Just you wait. What? I'm serious. Heard it on TV. Okay, where am I going exactly? I almost feel like I'm just going back to my apartment, but not. Down is better than up, that's for sure. I don't suppose Vic is in that general direction. Oh, okay, here's Tom's diner. You know, I'm going to a diner. I am kind of in the mood for, uh, Can I help you, with you know, a good meal. Oh, no. know what I'm looking for. Hey, can can I get some food? Hi. Sorry, I can't get close enough to talk to you otherwise. And apparently you don't care. All right, fine. Let's go inside the diner and see if I can order anything. All right, I'll be with Sit. you. I'll be with you in just a sec. I'm hungry. Hey, Tom, can I get some food? You are Tom, right? No. A little service, please. I'm hungry. At least I think I'm hungry. I I don't know. I mean, I did eat, but before I left home. Place is terrible service. Why would you pick a diner that, that won't you even do serve anything? So bad. Then in the car, I doubted you would survive. Trust me, I feel a lot worse. Why did you help me? Why'd you help me anyway? I needed you to leave. That hasn't changed. Uh, explain, please. This is about the biochip, isn't it? It's about it? the biochip. That why I'm here? Hmm. I hear it's damaged beyond repair. Any attempt to extract it would be disastrous. Fatal for you. Yeah, I'm sure Vic, Vic told to talk, you that. I guess. Not many could do what he did. You should be thankful. He is one of the best. So what do you want? What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn, what's she to you? She and Yorinobu Arasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. Been thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. 
She's likely gone very far away. Then why'd you ask me where she is? If you already knew she was likely gone. You just answered your own question. Just answered your own question about where Evelyn is. Long gone. Why do you believe she could help you remove the chip? Does a corporation help her? Uh, no, I don't think so. Don't think so, no. Can you expand? Don't matter how much perfume a corpo sprays on mornings, by lunch that's replaced by the stench of skullduggery. Only thing I caught from Evelyn was determination. And I too stink of skullduggery? Plenty. No. You're starting to stink, period. Hmm. <sighs> Alright, I've got things I need to do, so unless you have some suggestion on how I can s resolve my problem... Is that all? I need really to be going. be going. Wait. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. Oh, so you know I didn't do it. <laughs> Looking for justice? In Night City? I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think they'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. What? Why? Why are they hunting you? Okay, and if I say no? What if I say no? Then I will tell you what rewards await if you help me. Okay, you want me to accuse Yorinobu of his crime in front of Arasaka executives? What? So There's what, no we stroll into Arasaka me. HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This corporation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. What kind of people? Exactly what kind of people are we talking about? People who hold Arasaka dear are its heart. People interested in the corporation's stable growth. Isn't it big enough? You mean people like Anders Hellman? You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prepped for the heist thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. And true, he's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped to Arasaka, betrayed it. Seems to be a going trend these days. Um... Oh, that's why you're interested. I would first like to ask you... Fucking Aww. sucker scums everywhere. Hey, I was listening to that. Shut up. Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? Um... You heard should me. I be getting involved? Listen. No, tough guy, you listen. It's people like you two that have brought this country to its knees. Hey, leave Taking me out our of this. Land, our jobs, our fucking dignity. But I own this place, and here I decide. So finish your tea and get the fuck out. For the record, I'm not with him. With him. Yeah, Tom's a good guy, you should chill. Tom's alright. Not afraid to speak his mind, that's all. 
He reminds me of my father. He also worked in a kitchen all his life. Uh, you're the one that decided to, to speak up and draw attention. Last thing we want to do is draw attention. I'm sorry. A stupid reflex. So if he reminds you of your dad, then... then... How did you... Okay, I need to think. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. Get back to you. I want to know more about I need you. Time to plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Bad chance of that. Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. Uh, I'm gonna start by trying to find this Anders Hellman guy. Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Well, maybe I have connections that you don't. Hmm, somebody's been busy the last few days. I will not sit and do nothing when there is information to be found. Things to prepare. Your job, basically. It was my job. And what are you doing now? Why were you looking for him? Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Saburo-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Ah, oh, that explains why he's in the wind. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place, the club called The Afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the queen of fixers there, Rogue. Oh, I might have an in where you don't. Mean to say you worked for Saburo, yet got no idea how to talk to the High and Mighty. She wished to have nothing to do with the man accused of murdering Saburo Arasaka. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen so in the So wait, city. they're accusing you of killing him? worth asking her about Helm. And me. I wish you luck. The old man is choosy, expensive, and rude. Yeah, well, I have an in where you don't. I can also try my luck with Evelyn. With a bit of luck? I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she will not manage to now. Honor among thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes. I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. You're an Obu Arasaka degree? I'm sure. The Parker woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about the plan B. Oh... You don't have to remind me of I that. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Hellman, whoever. I must see some friends. Call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. Yeah. Yeah, I can do that. Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Arasaka's still a despotic machine, and the world's on a collision really? course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. So are we, like, friends now? You know, you've got some nerve. First you're out to kill me, now you want to be my pal and make like nothing happened? You know you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. What uh, did you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Go well, fuck yourself, I'm dickwipe. Glad to hear that at least. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. Right. And I've taken a step back. Looked at things. Not exactly an easy Think situation. We might for be both able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. 
Yeah, I was thinking I'd start there too. You really think you can help me? You are the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you've had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know Rogue. What would I say to her? I got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seen your memories. Gross. Rogue will dance to any tune I play or just get us to the afterlife. Yeah. I was actually thinking that would be the next best place to go. There is no us. Not true. There's very much an us. Can't exactly escape him. Alright, I guess I'll start by calling Judy. Me? Hey, Judy. Shit. I thought you were gone. Well, technically, I was. You're not alone in thinking me dead. Thought it was game over for me, too. Things went ass up, huh? Not as planned. Yeah. Heard about the heist, I take it. Must have talked to Evelyn. Didn't need to. Whole damn city's hurt. Listen, need to find Evelyn. I really don't want to talk about her. Know where she is? what I just say? Drop it. I won't tell you again. God, I really need to see her. Judy, you're my one hope. The only lead I got. I gotta find her. And I know you can help me do that. Who told you I want to? Please? Can we meet? Let's Pretty meet, please. please. You at Lizzie's? And... Well, that didn't go very well. Robert Wilson? Evelyn Parker, we need to talk. Hello, you there? Unable to deliver. Oh boy, okay, so that's gonna be harder than I thought. What does El Capitan want? V, heard you're making a name for yourself out there. How about some new digs? My chum over at Easy Estates told me there are a few fresh units for rent. Oh, hey! New apartments! Uh, they could give your current pad a makeover, too. Go check their net page. Or visit them in person. Yeah! Thanks, actually. Uh, I just got noticed that, well, rent is due, and I might be getting kicked out soon. So, new digs would be good. That's what I'm talking about, V. You'll love what I have in store for you. Guns, rides, digs, only the best. Thanks, man. I should get some gigs done for you as repayment. Who the hell is Robert Wilson? Hey, V, need a favor, Chumba? Want to hold a clearance sale? No junk. Pre-merch only. You know me. Problem is, hardly no one else does. Business slow, but that's where you come in. Next time you're around, why... Don't you stop by, browse around, won't find better deals any place else. And if you could put in a good word to your chooms, I'd really appreciate it. What? A sales pitch? With no directions. Ugh. Sometimes it's really hard to forget to remember the fact that I'm living someone else's life and this is not my world because apparently everybody and their brother knows who I am and I am just completely lost with no compass whatsoever you know what Screw it. Y'all can sod off. I have a meet and greet to get to.